Hi guys, welcome to another chemical engineering tutorial brought to you by the Kevin student. In this lesson we're going to take a look at what is known as implicit differentiation. Now this is a advanced mathematical technique uh, used in uh, chemical engineering and also other engineering applications. And this forms part of our engineering mathematics course. So the first thing that we're going to ask is what is implicit differentiation? Well in simple terms it's a way in which we can solve a set of equations that instead of expressing y in terms of x explicitly, what we can do is we can differentiate implicitly in a single go, rather than having multiple iterations that we need to combine. Now the question you might be asking yourself is what does this actually mean? So if we took the example here of the equation of a circle, now if we were to express this explicitly in terms of uh, y, in terms of x, then we would have to rearrange this equation. So we'd have to get this minus 4 across to the other side. We would then have to get our x squared across, and then we would have to square root in order to isolate y. So what this would look like is the following equation. So the, the actual algebraic manipulation should be fairly straightforward. However, this leaves us with a bit of an issue, is that we can see here is that we would need to solve and find dy by dx twice, because we have 4 plus the square root of 4 minus x squared, and then we also have minus the square root of 4 minus x squared. So we would have to do two differentiation uh, equations and then bring them together. Now that can be time consuming, especially if the equation is fairly complex. Now sometimes we simply cannot get away from the fact that we would have to apply implicit differentiation. Now what we can do is instead of uh, manipulating the equation to express uh, y in terms of x, what we can do is we can express these implicitly, i.e. the implicit differentiation will comprise of using the chain rule sometimes the product rule in order to solve these equations. Now what you'll find is they look, they can be fairly straightforward, but it's making sure you know how to apply the chain rule and how to apply the product rule when applicable. So if we look at this example here, it asks us to obtain dy by dx from this given equation here. Now we have x to the power 4 plus x squared multiplied by y squared plus y to the power 4 equals 1. Now we can see here that in order to isolate y and have it in terms of x is almost near impossible, especially because this term here is causing a lot of issues. So what we can then do here is we have a series of processes that we can apply to each of the terms individually and then combine them together. So the first thing that we'll see here is that we can differentiate this as a standard. So this would just differentiate as normal. Here we have to take into account that we're going to have a product rule because we need to express when we differentiate y, we need to do it in terms of x. And you'll see what this looks like in just a second. And then here we need to apply the chain rule to y by itself. And then, of course, we just differentiate the one as standard. So what this will look like is as follows. We have normal differentiation, as we say, for these two terms. Then we have the product and the chain rule, because whenever we have the y, we will have to apply the chain rule. And we'll see how this works in just a second. And then when we have the y here, of course, it's going to be the chain rule. But because we have... A one function of x multiplied by what looks like only a function of y, but bear in mind we need to express this in terms of x, then this becomes a product rule because we have two products of x. So what we can then do here is if we differentiate this equation here, or sorry, this term, this becomes 4x to the power 3. That should be fairly straightforward. Now what we do is we apply the product rule. Now the product rule, if you remember, is we differentiate the first term and we keep the second term the same and we multiply 
then we add, then we keep the first term the same, and then we multiply by the differentiated second term. So that's what we've done here, is we've differentiated the first term, so that's the x squared, so that becomes 2x multiplied by y squared. Then we've kept the x squared the same, and then we've multiplied by the differential of y squared. Now this is the trick to implicit differentiation. Because when we have the y, this isn't actually in terms of x. So what we have to do is apply the chain rule. And the way that we do this is we say that y squared, if it's a chain rule, what we do is we bring the power to the front, we differentiate as normal, so it's become 2y. Then what we do is we multiply by the differential. Now normally the chain rule has brackets, and we would multiply by the differential inside the bracket. But here we don't have the bracket. So what we multiply by is the differential of just dy by dx. We imagine we have an x term here. And that's how we can express the y implicitly as a function of x. Because we have differentiate this as 2y multiplied by dy by dx. Now we don't actually know what dy by dx is because we don't actually have the term. So that's why we just put it in that place. And we can see here that we do exactly the same thing. We differentiate y as if it was an x, so we bring the 4 to the front and then we take 1 away from the power. Then we multiply by, now we don't have the differential inside the bracket, so what we do is we just write that as dy by dx, because now we can have this function with the variable x even though we don't actually have an x in there. So that's how we can express it implicitly. And then, of course, we differentiate 1. A number by itself will just disappear, so that becomes 0. Now, we have two functions of dy by dx. So what we can start to do here is tidy this up, because the actual differentiation is done. This is now just a case of moving things and collecting like terms. So what we can do is we can see here that our x squared 2y and our 4y cubed, these are the two functions that are multiplied together by the dy by dx. So we could actually bring them together and that would eliminate one of the dy by dx's. Therefore, we only have one because at the end of the day, our final answer must be dy by dx. And then what we can do here is we can move this term and this term across to the other side, so they'll go over as their opposite signs. So that would be 4x cubed here, so it'll go over as minus 4x cubed. And then this would be 2xy squared, so that'll go over as minus 2xy squared. So we end up with this equation here. Now we're almost there, we just now need to move the whole 2x squared y plus 4y cubed across to the other side. Now obviously because it's multiplying here, we can divide. And then what we can do, again, is we can start to tidy this up. Because what we can see here is that we have 4 and 2 and 2 and 4. And we have repeated terms. So what can happen is this 2 and that 2 will then divide this 4 and that 4. So these 2s will cancel and these 4s will become 2s. And that is your, that's how you would solve a basic implicit differential uh, equation. So just remember, if you are coming across implicit differentiation and you have a y, but you want to express it implicitly with respect to x, you treat it as a chain rule. And then if you have a x term multiplied by a y term and you are differentiating implicitly, you have a product rule. So that's the end of this lesson. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this was helpful in understanding the concept of implicit differentiation. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us reach as many chemical engineering students as possible. Thank you for your time, and we we'll hope to see you in another video.